To prepare our hearts for worship, we'll sing together, Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. escaped from the loud, boisterous world to seek the calmness of your presence. You know all about us. You love us unconditionally. You know our need before we ask, so please speak directly to each of us gathered in your name and presence today. We confess our shortcomings. We are often one thing on the outside and another on the inside. We are inclined to give false impressions, fake holiness, and fail to be authentic. In a world clamoring for our attention, we often lose sight of the need for straightforward, holy living. We too frequently succumb to the bright lights of the world. Somehow our priorities get all confused and our minds fail to focus on the unchanging, unfailing, eternal values. We thank you for answered prayer, but our core family has many needs today, dear Lord. We bring Don and Marion Faulkner to you as they said goodbye yesterday to the family matriarch. Garville and Iris White need your special attention. John and Irene Michaels are in need of a special visit and healing in your wings. Others have been hurt by unkind words. Still others are facing the need to make difficult decisions. Some are feeling the pangs of long life. Some are restricted by caregiving. Visit with healing in your wings as you meet every need today. We pray a special prayer for our Corps officers on vacation. We pray they will return to duty refreshed and renewed in body, mind, and spirit. Thank you, Lord, for those you have sent to minister to us today. Lieutenant Colonel Zetti and Kathy Hobgood are faithful servants of our Lord. Now, when our time for worship has ended, send us into our troubled world with challenges, courage, and everyday opportunities for witness and service. For it is in the glorious, matchless name of our Savior and Lord Jesus we pray. Amen. <laughs> 